I am on a mission to find like that amazing, fabulous, super unique piece. Ooh, I see something on here that I like. So this is the challenge of finding unique, one-of-a-kind items. There's nothing. There's nothing on Google for this piece. That's the name of the game. I know, I came in here to look for one zinger. I'm finding multiple zingers. Crosnose glass. Oh, I see some happiness. I spent a bit. I spent about $1,600 there. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Have you ever just had one of those days? I don't think I need to say more, just one of those days. It is now 2.30 in the afternoon. I fully intended to get up early and go to some estate sales today. That did not happen. Uh, for some reason, I could not get out the door. And then uh, when I did get out the door, I forgot something, I had to go back. And, and before I knew it, I'm like, it's too late to go to estate sales. It just was. So I thought, where's the next best place to find really awesome curated stuff? An antique mall. So I am at the Charleston Antique Mall today, and now I'm on a mission. I am on a mission to find like that amazing, fabulous, super unique piece. I don't know what it is. I'll know what it is when I find it. And it has to have a little bit of margin on it for me to still be able to sell it online and make some money. So that's my quest. Like that, just that one zinger piece. That's what I'm looking for. Of course, I'm going to probably find lots of other stuff along the way. And uh, join me and you'll get to see what that looks like. But I am looking for the zinger today. So with that, let's get inside and let's get shop done. I absolutely love this strawberry pattern. It doesn't have like a real high resale value, but it's just, I don't know, it's strawberries. What more can you say? Ooh, I found two things that I really, really like. These are Majolica. It says they're German. I would have to do a little more research to verify that. I'm leaning more toward French. $12.50. That's a phenomenal price on that. I am going to pick that up. And then this one is $17.50. It's the same maker, so if I find one, I'm going to find the other. I'll get that one too. Oh wow, this this booth right here is uh, drawing me in. Let's see what we can find. Okay, I found a couple of fun little pairs of earrings. Those little doggies are glass for $7. And then these are enamel over copper. Those are $6.50. I'm gonna pick those up. Try to look at this jewelry like Dawn of Hudson Vintage would look at the jewelry. I'm still not there. But I mean, I see some pieces that are really interesting, but also in an antique mall, you know, they're, they're priced at a retail price. So you have to look very, very closely for the deals. Nothing is catching my eye in here right now. So this may not be the booth. This may not be the booth where it happens. But I am gonna find out how much that butterfly trinket box is. 
I mean, the little phone one is 17. I've sold that one a couple times, so I know exactly how much I can get for it. Oh, look at that little bird. Oh, I like that little white bird. He's glass, I do believe. Oh, there's a little blue bird too. Oh, I think I wanna see those. So the little birds are salt and pepper and Mickey, Mickey Moto, I believe was the name on them. And they are asking $49.50. So that is definitely something I'm gonna, I'm gonna look a little more into that and see what those are about. The butterfly was $21. So we'll be leaving those. Look at this peacock hat. How fabulous is that? Jack McConnell feather hat. That's, that's pretty amazing. I mean, that's amazing too, but man, I really like that one. Oh wow, look at this one with the pink feathers. <gasps> Those are spectacular hats. Okay, so whenever you find these crazy looking acrylic animals, snag them. Uh, they are Palatnik, I believe is how you say the last name. They're Lucite, they're incredible. They're asking 79 on that. There might even still be a little meat on the bone even at 79. This dealer in this case here has really reasonable prices for their sterling. I am I'm liking these little dachshunds here. I don't see the price. I may ask to look in this case. That's what I do. I kind of generally like see the overall pricing to see if it's worth it to uh, have a case opened up. There are some really, really pretty things in here. Out yeah, I found more jewelry, yes. <laughs> I think I want to see inside this one too. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Okay, she's gonna go get a key. She just helped me in the other case. I really love that too, but I don't see a price on it. All right, stand by. Okay, here's what I pulled out that I'm going to get. So this beautiful butterfly for 12. This also has a little mixed gemstones. For 12. This is Coro. It's two pins for 20. This is Monet for 20. This adorable little guy is 12. And this is Brighton. I'm going to pick this up for 25 because it's spectacular. And then I just found this piece. Now, this looks just like the one that I found in Florida. Mm -hmm. It's got all the marps on the back. It's $21. I'm going to go ahead and grab that because I sold that one really fast. Good. I'm not trying to just look for jewelry, but the jewelry is kind of where I'm most likely to find that zinger. And glass. Jewelry and glass. Those are like the two places I normally find it. I just found another booth with a lot of costume jewelry too. Look at these little displays of pins and such. They're, they're giving away root beer floats behind me. So I'm in a, a little bit of a busy area. So it's a little noisy. Oh, look at this. Oh, how beautiful is that with the little moonstones for $8? I think we're gonna grab that one too. Okay, I just found these two rings. They are Eisenberg. I don't know if they're silver. I'm leaning toward them not being silver, but what's cool is they're adjustable, but they're super high quality adjustable. I did just do a quick little image search and Eisenberg rings are very, very good. These are $100 each. I think I'm gonna splurge. Look at the little kitchen, which salt and peppers. So super collectible. Oh, that's $50. That sounds about right. Let's see what else? We, oh, those are really cute salt and peppers, too. Farmer's Market, California, Lucite, Trivet for 15 I did pull some more jewelry out of the case. I did, I did. Gonna have to wait and see. I can't. I can't believe what I just found in the case. I'll show you, I promise, at the end. They just kind of snag it from me really quick and take it up to the front. So we gotta get back to the car for that. 
That's $25 for that amazing peacock linen, but it's unfinished something. It's just like the, the needlework. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, I see so much vintage. Do those just scream 1950s or what? Wow, are they little whales? They are, they're little whales. <gasps> those are so cute. 14 seems like a really good price on those too. I still have my Victorian window with the dried flowers in it that is about, mm, at least now it's more than double the size of this one. See, and they have 225 on this. So now I feel better about my pricing. a pretty piece of art pottery 1850 it's not bad this really reminds me of the type of pottery that I have been watching Laura Caldwell pick up lately it says grace on the bottom it's a really well-made piece for 1850 and the size is really good I think I'm gonna pick this one up And look at this, <laughs> look at these crazy little dogs. It's the Merrick Thread Company advertisement from the 1890s. Nicely framed, I think we'll get that too. Oh, that is a gorgeous piece of furniture. I do believe this is French in design with all of this inlay, let's see. Marble top, three drawer, nightstand, $548. It's stunning, stunning. I actually have antique furniture in my bedroom. I'm all about antique furniture. Although I think this is a repro. This is not constructed like an antique. It's beautiful, but I think it's just vintage. And the chairs, oh my gosh. If I didn't have dogs, I'd have chairs like this, but I have dogs that are allowed on the furniture, so. Oh, look at this little goldfish on the basket. That's pretty spectacular. I love that. Look at these amazing paintings on velvet. The floral, I like the, the long shape and the fact that there's a pair of them. You could really do something fun and fancy in your decorating. And I think the white frames really make the painting itself pop. They are by H. Hempen, set of two for 185. Not for us today, but definitely worth looking at. Looking up on the shelf here, I see this really cool lucite tree. Oh, he's up there. That is cool as can be. Look how thick it is. It's like two layers so it's got a very three-dimensional look to it it does look like it's got age on it see all the little micro scratches under there they're asking 25. Mm, see this is the kind of piece that i i know it's worth the 25 all day long is it worth more than that i don't know but either way i would be happy putting this in my curio cabinet if it's not so i'm going to grab it Wow, look at the iridescence on this vase. That's crazy. They're calling it carnival. I I, do, I wouldn't call this carnival because um, this is a later piece. This is purposely made to have this flashy, flashy iridescence. But And see, and it's cased. You can kind of see the layer of the clear glass there. So that, that isn't how... Uh, carnival glass is made. Carnival glass is pressed glass. This is a gorgeous piece. I don't know who makes it, but it's it's stunning. How cute is this? I remember my grandmother having a very similar thing in her house. $18? It's on sale for $18. 
Oh my goodness. I think I need all the little owls for $18. I think that's coming with me. These guys are cool. Who makes you? Really adorable. Dwell Studios, Global Views. So not old, just really fun. 28 and 48. This is one of my favorite booths here in the Charleston Antique Mall. They have so much mid-century coolness and interesting things like, is that a bird? It's a bird, right? It's a bird. Okay, I need to look at the bottom. Look at that little beak. Look how well done this is. B, G, S, B, G, S. It is $40. I really love it. I don't know anything about it. Hmm. Just studio pottery, bird signed, $40. It's really interesting and unique as can be. You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pass by a possible zinger, even though I know this dealer really looks their stuff up. But I'm gonna do a Google, Google image search just to be sure this isn't worth picking up. So this is the challenge of finding unique, one-of-a-kind items. There's nothing. There's nothing on Google for this piece. So 40 could be severely underpriced. It could be, or it could be just right. The question becomes, is it just right for me as a collector of bird items? Now that's, that's the question. Because if that's the case, it's coming home with me. I think you know the answer. Okay, look at this spectacular guy. It is Fitz and Floyd. It's really, really large. I have my hands full here. Um, but I think I'm gonna snag him too. He's, he's on sale for $50. I think he's going with me. Okay, I love that here they're very attentive and they see you with something in your hands and they take it up front for you, which is super cool. Cause now my hands are free again and I can keep shopping. I talked to the dealer about that little bird piece and she said she didn't know anything about it. Oh, let's see what other goodies we have. I see you, Snow White. Fairest of them all, 35 for her. Disney stuff is pretty identifiable, pretty easy to research, so usually don't find any really smoking deals on Disney stuff. Look at that bird. Says it's as is though. Where are you as is? Usually it's gonna be the handle. I'm not seeing an as is. Doesn't mean it's not there. Maybe just that little bit of paint loss on the handle. It is Stoke-on-Trent, England, Grimwades. It's a very cool looking bird. Did not see that, that's 20, 20, 20, 20. Mm, I've, uh, I bought a few things that I'm already in that, like, oh, it can stay with me if it doesn't sell. So again, now I have to, I have to be careful. I don't get too much of that sort of stuff. We've got a Le Creuset butter dish for 22 that seems like a very fair price there is a lot of jewelry at this mall a lot of jewelry i really need to get dawn out here one of these days and glowy glass oh i see something on here that i like look at these little clay vases just very simple, yet the shape is really interesting. They are signed. They look very 90s, I think. Let's see, how much are you? Oh, it's it's 22 for the set of two. I absolutely think I will pick those up for basically $11 each. Found some pretty glass on this shelf. Look at that. $68 for this hand-blown fluted bowl. And this is nice. This is this is not like the imported Chinese glass. This has a much better feel to it. This is a genuinely nice piece. It's not the kind of piece I want to deal with today. 
150 on the summer so ashtray that's really a gorgeous gorgeous piece of Murano this is a Murano paperweight it's large look at that $90 oh it's very heavy too let's see there's your bottom oh it's actually got the sticker too a lot of times they don't have the sticker anymore okay and I've talked about this before when you find the paperweights with the Millefiori in here look at the depth that depth is one of your signs of quality and just look at how well done that is I feel like $90 is probably even a steal for that I did a quick look up and this might be my zinger I'm grabbing it for 90 Look at these donuts. Look how fun these are. Those are fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Okay, this guy's fabulous too. He's a bird. This little carved bird. He's $38. I can't do it. I can't do it. As cute as you are. All right, I spotted another piece. They're going to go get the key because I must see what that is right there. Yeah, he's cute too. That was popular in the Several firings to get yeah, it right. it's, a, it's a crystalline vase. I mean, a, a glaze. It's really gorgeous. Very well done. I'm surprised it's not signed. Very surprised it's not signed. And it is... How much? $20, $24.99, $25 basically. You know what? I'm going to grab that. Oh, sorry, chicken. I was going for the trinket box. This is a Royal Stafford. It is $12. How beautiful is that though? Now I won't make quite the margins that I like to make, like say when I buy something from Goodwill for $5, but as long as I can make a little bit and sell some beautiful things, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna grab that. And next to it is this beautiful piece of pottery. Oh, oh, it's a Butterbell. It's a Butterbell stoneware. And it's signed Jack Wells Butterbell for 25. I'm gonna do a quick look up on that because that seems like a very high quality piece. Okay, this could also be a score. We're gonna get that too. Okay, this piece is cool. What do you, what you call this? Uh, is it Ikebana? The little Japanese Ikebana thing? And it's Raku for 14. Yep, I'm gonna get that too. I am really loving the stuff in this booth. Look at this little wood turned jar. Would you still call it a jar? Canister. $14? 14 is an incredible price on that. It's really nice. Can't tell quite how old it is. It's in really good shape. I'm starting to get a lot of stuff though. I have to make some wise decisions. Oh, look at this little simple little. Oh, it's got a thing like, oh, it's a jam pot. I was thinking it was a trinket box. It's not, it's a jam pot. It would hold a little spoon right there. That's very cute. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to try to like really just look for zingers now. I really just want to find some zingers. That's the name of the game. I know I came in here to look for one zinger. I'm finding multiple zingers. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's only $5. He could go in my fundraiser. Look at that. Hand painted horn with a bear on it. Oh, that's pretty fabulous. Let's see. No way. Is that $20? $20? Um, yes, please. And I found this pretty little cross. Look at that little cutie. 
I don't know anything about it, but I know it's only eight dollars, so I'm gonna get it. Okay, she's kind of interesting. <laughs> Is she a mermaid sitting on a fox in an umbrella? Or, I don't know. Original art. 135. By Nora. Oh, look at this very, very happy bunny. And then this really cool open. Look at it. It's open. It's base. It says it's signed 1987. Oh, let's see. Walton, 87. How cool is that? $95. I love that. This is a cool spear. I don't know what this is though. What has like all this green and gray and rust and oh, is it a, a conglomerate piece like pressed together or is it really like something out of the earth that comes out in these colors, $40. That seems like a really good price for that. I wish I knew what it was. This is unique and interesting too. It looks like, like lava. I'm sure, I mean, I know it's painted, but it, it's all that porous, like, how did they do that? How did they do that? How much are you, $14.50? I like it. I like this little one behind it too. Just a nice little stoneware piece, $7.50. Made in Japan. I don't see Japan on here, so I'm wondering if that's just a guesstimate by the, the dealer, but I think for $7.50 we'll pick that up. I found this piece too. Look at how intricate that pottery work is. Wow. And it's a Raku. What does it say? Um, Scalloped edge vase, $21 as is. I can imagine there's going to be possibly some issues. Like there's a little, yeah, there's a little chip there. But look at that. It's signed on the bottom. What does that say? Fleming? J815? I think that's kind of spectacular. Even with that little bit of damage, you don't really see it because it's already such a ruffled edge. I think for $21. Yeah, I know. Shipping won't be fun. I think for $21, though. I need to have that piece in my life. I looked over and saw this unique little piece. Look, it's got like little stars and then it's got like little looks like reptile skin and it's only $9.50 and it's also very very signed let's see $19.93 I think I see on there that's very cool for $9.50 Oh, look at that face. I do believe I have been told more than once to pick up things with Shih Tzus. Now, is he a Shih Tzu or is he a Lasso Apso? And how do you tell the difference from a picture? I know in person, kind of like there's a size difference, but it could go either way. Uh, 29 in a beautiful oak frame. We will get him. This kind of caught my eye too. I got a little one of these that was as is a while back and Rachel was taking pictures and she goes, can I have this? And of course I said, yes. So that one never came up for sale. It's 27. Oh, look how beautiful these are. These Millie Fiori egg paperweights. They are 24 each. Pen holder for $15 pretty awesome. Oh, I don't like when the shelf shakes. It makes me very nervous. That's awesome. 
It's a problem with an antique mall. There's too much cool stuff. Okay, look at this spectacular piece of glass. You can feel these horses. It's all signed on the bottom. Kelsey Pil Pilgrim, 1996. They are asking $238. I am going to set that down gently. All right, this is what every home needs is a settee with a flamingo. <laughs> that settee is uh, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Again, if I didn't have dogs, if I didn't have dogs, I would have a whole house full of antique furniture. But if it comes down to it, it I am gonna choose the dogs over the furniture. Get a DuPont antifreeze. <laughs> a fun little advertisement piece but look at this oh you know I love this color oh look at that light come through there that is ruby red the story behind ruby red glass is that they used real gold to make that because it's the only way you could get that true red this is why true red glass is more expensive and why there's a lot of not true red glass, it's just painted or stained. $14, mmm, I love that, I'm getting it. This is the kind of booth I really like with such a variety of stuff. There's some high-end glass, there's some fun collectible stuff. What is that? Oh, it's a, it is a glass revolver, <laughs> oh my. We got some Fenton in here, it's beautiful Fenton. Oh, beautiful Italian decanter set. Hmm, so much fun stuff. Krosnos glass. Oh, I see some happiness. It says Leo Ward, little bluebirds of happiness. Oh, that's really a pretty color on that base back there. You know, I love me some nice glass. Oh, so much fun stuff. Look at these horsies. Are you leather wrapped? You are leather wrapped horses. I'm on horse buying hiatus right now for Rachel. I have to go into her room with her and help her reorganize her shelves. We did the pantry product, product project the other day instead of working on that, so. That'll be the next big project we do, and it's going to be a big project because the girl has a lot of stuff. Those are fun mid-century candles. I love these spiral candles too. Those are cool. Oh, there's another one, Baby Ruth. Oh my, oh, there's like a Plymouth one. So those must be just like fun little repro pieces. Oh, Artesania Rinconadas. Looks like they are $20 each. The Jim Shore pieces back here. The fish, I love the seahorse. He is very cool. Oh, that is a fun sculpture. The mother playing with her child. It's, it's metal. I'm not sure exactly what kind of metal. That, it's like a cast iron. Actually, that's cool. Carved fish. Oh, that's a pig with a glass bowl in it. Oh no. Oh no, a serious temptation. Oh no. Look how cool he is with all this little mosaic. Okay, I gotta put my ruby red down. How heavy are you? Oh, yep, you are definitely a yard art piece. <gasps> I can't leave him behind. So this dealer is here and says she's wheeling and dealing today. So 
I'm gonna find some goodies. I'm sure I've bought lots of stuff from this booth before. You kind of learn your favorite booths and where you can get the good deals. 14, this little pin cushion doggy, he's cute. Is that a Lefton tag? I No, it's Napco. So, oh, okay, that's good to know. I thought Lefton was the only one that used those letter number system. So apparently Napco does too. Are Napco and Lefton related? Hmm, there's the next question. I don't know the answer. I would have to go research that. So if you know the answer, let me know down in the comments. It's a pretty little wood bird. Corkscrew. Sometimes I have to like, what is that? <laughs> it takes my brain a minute. Oh, that's a cool butter. Look at it, it's got a little ring on the top. Better Homes and Garden makes that one. I always get accused of not picking up dog stuff. So look, I'm gonna pick up this little guy. He's $8 and he's super fun. My gosh, look at him. Oh, he's, he's a barrette. He's a barrette? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, look at him. I just pulled these two gorgeous pieces of Labradorite out of the case. Ugh, I can't resist. I gotta do it. All right, we've got two fairy lamps here, Indiana glass. You've got 19, oh, it says as is. Oh yeah, those fairy lamps, the only one that is complete that is not cracked is this one. Oh, it's got a crack. Someone obviously is smart. Oh, Turn it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right away and they'll yeah, oh, that, that would do it. Yeah, if you burn the candle, heat this up, and then wash it or anything, or get it cool, it's gonna, it's gonna so crack. Too. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah. That is one a bummer. Up above is complete. That one looks like Fenton. Oh, yeah. That's like half of what it is online. Let's see what she's I asking. On too. 78. She would give me 30, 30% off. What is that? Okay, do that math for me. That would be like. Um, I do 50. 50 Maybe bucks. Okay. Than... We're going to get the Fenton Fairy Lamp. Okay. We're going to look over here because there can be some wheeling dealing in this booth too. Oh, I just, nope. These aren't the souvenir ones. Okay. They are the souvenir ones, but they're not like the little ones like I sold the other day. Sometimes I know what I want to say and it just doesn't come out of my mouth. Nothing's really grabbing me. Probably because I have so much stuff already. Of course, you have to hold it up in the light to truly see that color come through there. I do 15 bucks on that. Speaking my language. I am going to have to show you all of the jewelry I got when we get back to the car. I just bought a bunch of sterling and some really cool pieces. <laughs> Super excited. Okay, remember the squirrel brush I just recently bought and sold? This one is a cat. They have 19 on it. A little more than I can pay. This is a beautiful piece of glass that's often mistaken for Murano, but I do believe this one is actually Bohemian glass. Okay, there is the Christmas tree that everybody wants. Look at it, it's got the little birdie lights on it. They're asking 125. I see more glass and fun things. A little Artisania St. Bernard. He's 20, 25 on the zebra. That one says Murano, but this is not a Murano vase. This Labrazioni, 
that's not Murano, but they fool a lot of people. Okay, it says this is a box. I think it's just, okay, it's sitting up to show it off. It says it's hinged. Where's, oh, it is hinged. Ooh, that's kind of gorgeous. That is really actually amazingly gorgeous. 25. Seems like a really nice price on that. I have a big pile up front. Do I get it? Is it a zinger? I don't know, but I feel like I could get close to doubling my money on that one. I love the look of this booth. The whole kind of vibe is that primitive, rustic, country, and everything you can see just kind of like, it just fits that, that niche. Okay, kind of making my way up to the front because they close in just a little while and I saw these kind of abstract dragons. $105, it's, oh, it's for the pair, mid-century, it's a glaze, there's no other information. Those are pretty fantastic. Oh, this is such a pretty piece of glass. Again, the light, you just gotta, I don't even know if you can see it. Okay, I want you to see what I'm seeing. It's just, it's, it's a gorgeous piece. Wow, can't get the lighting quite right. There we go, that's a little better. Look at that. It is signed, Kel, Kel something? Kel, I don't know. Let's see if it says it on the tag. Med oh, it says Medina, Medina vase. MCM, $44. I don't know if that's good or not, but it's beautiful. Okay. From a distance, this guy kind of pulled me over. He is an original painting. It's a terrier. He is $45. We'll have to leave him, but he's super cute. All right, look at this little trinket. It's taped shut, but it's Mexican pottery hand-painted for $4.95. We'll grab that. And the one next to it is also Four ninety-five. We'll grab that too. There are two magnificent paintings on velvet by San Sanchez. Sanchez, the buffalo and the coyote. Aren't those spectacular? Okay, are you ready for this? I am blown away with my finds today. Uh, look at this. It's It says Little Miss and it's Little Horses. It's this new old stock. Somebody's got really loud music going. Ah! In its original packaging for $5. I got these. I may not be able to remember all the prices as I go. Uh, because I got some deals, but look at these earrings. They are Beyond the Earth by artist, artist John Michael Richardson. Aren't those fabulous? Spectacular. It's got all the info on the inside of the card here. So we got those, but wait, there's more. Um, I got some fun and fabulous little like chain mail dangle earrings. I did pay 10 for these. I think I can get probably like 20 bucks for them. So not quite my normal margins, but when it's this easy to ship, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Somebody's just about to back into me. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, this one I, I don't remember what I paid. Okay, that was odd. I had a phone call. I just bought, I bought some fun bracelets. I don't get a lot of bracelets and I just, I got some fun, interesting. I didn't pay very much for these. This one 
has like copper on the inside. It is vintage and it's got this meshy thing going. Um, what else? Oh, I showed you. I showed you the two rings um, that I got. Those I did show. I paid $100 each for those rings. This is a fabulous piece that I got from that dealer at the end. Um, just, she says it's 1970s. These were very popular in the 1970s, kind of these handcrafted. And then the revival of these in like the early 2000s was steampunk. Uh, but these don't have quite the same elements as steampunk, but uh, super interesting. And this one has the big calla lily. I think I paid, I want to say I paid like 20 or 25 for that, I do believe. Something like that. Some fun, just some fun lucite bangles that I'm going to put in like to little lots. This little guy has had a repair, but look how awesome he is. It's a little kitty cat mask, and he was made in Italy, but he has been repaired. So I got a really good price on him, but he's pretty fabulous nonetheless. Yes. Oh, look at this little tennis bracelet. This was... It was a really 20... I can't remember what he marked it down to for me, but there is that. And all of this is gonna be, like, I've gotta go get this all processed in, like, right away. Look at this tortoise shell clamper, fun. Uh, because I have shows on Sundays and Mondays. Uh, Sundays are with Dawn of Hudson Vintage, and that's where I sell most of the jewelry. It goes into the nicheladyshop.com, and then I go live on the Knit Shopping Network and selling it. Look at another one, another little vintage tennis bracelet. I think that is um, rose quartz. I don't remember what the little blue, the little blue, maybe like a zircon. Look at this fabulous uh, vintage. I don't know if they're glass or stone. They are cool to the touch. Look at the closure on that. So I can't wait to get these home to the tester. Paid, I do believe I paid 20 for those. Okay, come on. He's not going anywhere. He's mine. Um, I paid I paid too much for him, but that's okay. I mean, he's he's worth what I paid. I say that because I shouldn't have spent that much money just on myself. But look at these. These look like Whiting and Davis. They are screwbacks, so they are of the era. Paid eight. No, paid $12 for those. I wish I had one of the necklaces to go with it, the Whiting and Davis necklaces. But look at some of these fabulous pieces I got, like a moonstone. Sorry, my lighting is doing strange things. This is what I get for sitting in the parking lot. Uh, oh, I don't have both of these in my hands, but I got these earrings right here. They are sterling. Oh, of course, it's the other one that has the mark. Okay, stand by. I'm going to find that other one. I'm doing this by feel. I'm reaching over into the bag to get the stuff. Oh, this. I've got matching earrings with this. Look at this vintage necklace. Is this not the coolest? Look at that. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, so, again, if you want to see the things, I'm just giving you a quick glimpse. If you want to see more details of all of these items and you want to see them closer up and you want to see all the values and all of that, you'll have to see when I get them listed in my shop, you'll see the prices that I put them in there for. I love this so much. Uh, there's, there's the back of it. And then, of course, uh, especially on Sundays when I'm with Dawn, who really knows what stuff is, we go over and we talk about the stuff a lot more. Brighton, Brighton Heart with hearts. I just thought that this was like so cool, Brighton or not, but then having it be Brighton was like a bonus, like spectacular. This with the little moonstones on it for $8. And generally I bought like, you know, my bread and butter pieces of, you know, pins and things that, that just sell, oh, 
you guys might remember, and I think I showed this on video, I bought this same thing in Florida and it's got the same marks and everything. And then what was icing on the cake, if I can get to them, I found earrings. I found the earrings that match. Oop, another bangle, this one's copper. I found the earrings that match. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, oh, this. Look at this beautiful thing here. Is that not incredible? And I do believe these are real pearls. Everything that I can see tells me they are real. This is just a fabulous piece. I can't wait to see Dawn's reaction on this one. But wait, there's more. Oh, Monet, it's Monet. <laughs> I think I paid 20 for him. But I did research him, and he's worth more than 20. Oh, I have somebody I think I know who, who is going to really, really want this little doggy right here. So you, you know who I'm talking about. I mean, if it's you. So reach out to me. I bought this with you in mind. Looks like a certain little theater dog. I think. I think. Okay, with my memory. I haven't seen very many pictures. This is a hair clip or like a barrette. Look at that. How cool is that? Um, oh my gosh, I bought so much stuff. So much stuff. Look at this fun, funky, cool piece. Look at the, I like the chain on this a whole, whole lot. Forget what that's called, but I like it. cat pin. Oh no, that just fell down between the seat. I'm going to have to go and rescue it. Another really cool old pin with that conglomeration of the little gemstones. There's the back. It's big too. It's a big pin. There was so many things I saw too that were like out of my element that it just wasn't comfortable spending too much on. Okay, is this the other one? Okay, here's one of the, no. Hold on, I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna find them, they're in here. They're coming. Oh, I showed these. I showed the little doggies and the enamel on copper, but I didn't show this beautiful amethyst 95 necklace, pendant necklace. Look at the color on that. Super cool, super cool. Oh, I think I showed you this. I did get him. He is a hair clip. She gave me a deal. She gave me 30% off on everything. All right, this I wanted, wanted to show. It fell off of the card, but look at these. How fun are those? I don't know how old they are, but they are, they are groovy, these earrings. And they're not heavy. They look like they'd be heavy. They are not heavy. <gasps> I bought the Coro. I don't know if I show these or not. A pair of Coro birds. Uh, there's a little bird and a big bird marked on the tail there. And that's the other ring. I can't wait to test those rings and see if they are sterling. Um, they're not marked. Oh, there's the little, there's a little baby bird. And, oh, there's the earring, earring that goes with that other necklace. And, oh, there's the other one. There's the other one. Um, just Mark Sterling. Just Mark Sterling right there on the bottom. But look at them, they're Coco Pellis. Aren't they great? Oh, love them. Almost done. <laughs> Larmar, a little hair, barrette, little guy. You should see this mess in my lap right now. Look at this beautiful sterling heart. It needs a little cleanup, which I think I can do. I feel like though, if I start to clean off that little mark, it's going to make me have to polish the entire thing but I might do it anyway. Or I don't know if that's just, maybe it's just 
not oh it scrapes off it's just smush that's fantastic okay look at that puffy sterling heart okay okay here's the one that's marked of these they are taxco i can't show you both because i'm holding the camera with one hand uh, but there's there's two of them and they're onyx and they're sterling and i think i paid 20 for those another fabulous cat and yes there's just more cat pins than there are dog pins in the world it's it's just what it is okay here's the earrings look here's the earrings and let me show you the mark look at the marks on these there you go super excited super excited to have found the earrings and the pin oh oh i forgot i got that um look at this ring sterling look at the cut out filigree on the side isn't that spectacular and then it's abalone i paid 40. i did pay 40 for this one but i think it's cool enough i think it's cool enough i'll still make some money on it it's always a nerve-wracking thing. I like other stuff. I know what my margins are. I know what I'm going to get for it. Jewelry, not so much. I'm like, jewelry's intense for me. But, as I drop the phone, um, no risk, no reward. And then these little sterling silver earrings that are also marked. I do believe they're marked Mexico as well. I think that's, yeah. That's all the jewelry. I spent a bit. I spent about $1,600 there. Yes, it went on a credit card. Um, but it's pretty It's pretty safe as long as I'm buying, you know, in a price range that I know I'm not going to lose money on the stuff. And I, and I buy things I think will flip fairly quickly. I mean, there's no guarantees in this world. But cross fingers and make that money back really quickly and then the long tail items have time to, to sell you know without me sitting on a loss of money that's kind of how my brain works in the whole reselling thing so I'm excited for all of my good finds again this was the Charleston Antique Mall here in Las Vegas it's actually not on Charleston it's actually off of Decatur Boulevard here on more toward the north side of Vegas. I don't think it's not considered North Vegas. It's kind of north central Las Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, I think that works. <laughs> it's near where the good stuff used to be. All right, with that, I've got to get home and get pictures of all this stuff and get it up in the niche lady shop. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.